Hey guys, so today I thought I'd make something different in my video. Um, it's actually not going to be a food related item, it's going to be, um, get ready for this, pasties! So what you need is some sort of lace or some kind of base thing that you can cut a circle out of. So you need scissors as well. And you need double stick tape and some sort of tassel, something like this, something fun like that. Or I found this on the keychain, it was kind of nice. So, let's get started. No, I'm just kidding guys, we're actually going to make what's called pasties and it's a really neat thing because you can have it sort of like a portable lunch or a, just a portable meal and pretty much you can go to the supermarket and get um, one of those pre-made um, pie mixes or one of those roll out, what the hell is the word I'm looking for, pastry crusts and um, yeah, just cut it onto little circles and make it into a little pocket and fill it with meat, um, carrots, rutabaga, potatoes, onions, whatever you like really. Um, yeah, and that's what pasties are. So you can either get a crust or make your own pie crust, but I ain't judging you guys. So if it were me, I would just buy the crust, easy as that, and just pop into the oven and it's ready. So if you guys are into this, just keep on watching. Oh, and some update is um, I'm actually moving. So this is going to be the last video in this house. And um, yeah, it's really exciting because I'm moving technically to another city. But it's really just an extension of my city. It's like a suburb which turned into a city. I don't know what the hell it is. Anyways, yeah. So I am moving on Saturday. I don't know when this video is going to be up, probably not by Saturday, but yeah, this is going to be the last video in this house, so yeah, I'm excited, and my classes are done on Friday, so yay for me. Okay <laughs> guys, so for the pastry, what you can do is either make your own, and add water and all that stuff, and roll it out, or you can go to the store and roll it out into 8 inch or 9 inch rounds and make sure it's not too thin but not too thick and so traditionally Cornish pasties are made with um, onions, rutabaga or sweet or turnip or whatever you guys call it and skirt steak which is cubed but um, I don't really have any skirt steak so I'm just going to use some ground meat and so just layer it in Then just add in the rutabaga. And make sure when you cut the rutabaga and all the other vegetables that they're similar size. Don't make them too big because it has to, these are all raw and they have to cook, into the, cook in the oven. And the potatoes. And pretty much the basic seasoning for this is just salt and pepper. So make sure you, um, don't be afraid to season it heavily because that is the only flavoring and then just add some meat and again just use some skirt steak which is cubed I, I don't have any because my fridge is empty since I'm moving so. and what you want to do is just add some salt and pepper Carrots to this is um, apparently it's a big no-no, so I'm just gonna keep it traditional, sort of, and not add any. And now just wet the edges. And so what you want to do is just pull it together and squeeze the edges. however you like. I think the traditional way is to kind of like fold it over but I have no idea how to do that. I have no idea how to fold that. 
Oh well. Anyways, there you go. And then just do that with the rest of them. And the last thing you want to do is just poke some holes in it. And brush it with an egg wash. And just put it in the oven for about maybe 45 or 50 minutes at 375. And it's done. Alright guys, so I took it out of the oven and it's been cooking for 45 minutes. Um, I also made three mini ones, but um, I suggest when you guys cut holes in it, maybe just prick it with a fork or make a really small hole because I didn't expect it to split. But um, yeah, so that's the final dish guys. And be sure to try this out and leave a comment below on how you like it.